Hello, and welcome to another edition, web edition of uh, Geekazine, the video podcast. This week we're going to talk about something that uh, that you don't really take into play in the computer world, and that's the power supply. And that's basically the uh, what powers up your computer um, and all the peripherals that are inside. Now, this is a very important factor, especially when you're upgrading your computer. Because the more devices that are attached to this computer, to your computer, the more wattage you, you use, and therefore, the more you need this thing to be right on. So we're going to talk about it a little bit. Now, this this power supply is actually fried. I spent all morning over at a friend's house because of this power supply. Now, the interesting thing about this power supply is it's a 200 watt set power supply. Now. Um, if you're an IT professional, you know that that's a pretty low-rated uh, power supply for any type of computer whatsoever. Now, this was a very specialty computer. It was running. Uh, it, it runs for a system, and that system uh, it has the just motherboard. It has memory. It has uh, a hard drive, and it runs a special video display. So, 200 watts is pretty much cutting it low. Now, see. With the size of this this uh, this power supply, the thing the other the other factor is the size. Um, so we went out and we tried to look for other power supplies, and unfortunately we had to stay in these dimensions of size. So when you look for a power supply, you got to worry about two things. First of all, the size of your power supply, and second of all, how many watts you're going to be running from your computer. Now let's get to the first part out of the way. It's actually simple measurements. And if you go to uh, any CompUSA or Best Buy or something like that and you look at power supplies, you're going to see on the box it's going to tell you the size of the power supply. Now they range. Um, to a, they don't make 200 watt power supplies anymore. Uh, not for things like Best Buy and stuff like that. But you can still get them. However, you want to get something a little bit more than 200 watts. But we'll get, we'll get to that in a second. First of all, let's talk about size. You want to measure your power supply, like for instance this power supply. Um, you can see the length is five inches um, across. Height is two and a half inches, and uh, width in the back is four inches. So in this case, I would need to get a power supply that was five by two and a half by four. Now that's a small power supply. Um, power supplies get pretty darn big, and that's uh, the bigger, uh, the more, the more stuff inside therefore the bigger wattage. Um, you also have to be concerned about your plugs. Now, standard power supplies have these standard plugs. The biggest standard plug is this one right here. Um, this is what goes into the motherboard. You have also a supplemental, which is four prongs. Let's see if I can show that to you. Four prongs on the motherboard. Um, and this one's like, a, I think it was like 16 prongs. And then, of course, you have all your peripherals. And this is an important factor because... In this, in this case of this power supply, I can plug in one, two, three, four, four devices, and then like a floppy drive or something that would take this plug. And of course, I could add to that, but you don't want to. Um, being 200 watts, this everything, every plug, if you plug everything into these plugs, you should get that. Now, how do you figure out how many watts your computer actually runs? Well. There's some great websites out there that, uh, that can actually tell you. Um, I brought up one here. It's called journeysystems.com. And basically what it does is you put in all your little facts and figures about what type of computer you have. If it's an AMD system, if it's an Intel system, if it's a uh, Pentium 4, Pentium 3, Pentium 2, how much memory it has in it, how many hard drives it's got in it, uh, if you've got a DVD player, if you've got a sound card, stuff like that. I did just for kicks and giggles, not this one right here, but I did my main computer, which is a PC. It's an Intel. It's off the Northwood system. Um, uh, I, uh, I've got it right here. It's a Northwood so socket 478. I've got an NVIDIA GeForce 5200 uh, video card in there. i got two sticks of, uh, of RAM in there. I've got a PCI card, a uh, network interface card. I've got a Sound Blaster Live card in there. I've got uh, two additional PCI cards. Um, I've got three different three hard drives in there. I have uh, two USB ports and I have a system fan because I keep my case open. That's how I that's how I run the heat, the heat. 
the total wattage that my computer puts out is 321. So I need something that would go 350 watts or better. So this is how you figure out the wattage of your system. Basically, a motherboard, just the board itself, is about 25 watts. A hard drive runs about 25 to 30 watts. Now, the faster hard drives will start to pull out more wattage, so you got to be concerned about that. Um, a network card, probably about 4 watts. Sound blaster card, 7 to 10. Uh, if you've got a CD-ROM to a DVD rewritable, I'd say about 15 to 25. Memory. Now, it depends on how many sticks of memory you have in your computer. If you have one, you're, you're staying on the low side. You can go anywhere from 7 watts to 50 watts, depending on the size of the, the, size of the memory, the speed of the memory, and, and other factors. Now, another good factor is how fast your memory goes. For instance, if you've got a motherboard that has a DDR uh, with a 27, a PC2700, and you got PC3200 in there, it's going to you gotta you gotta count for that. So look at look at each device. Each device should tell you how many watts that it runs. So getting back to our our thing, 20 to 60 for a video card. Now here's where the the important thing is, and that's the processor. Now I talked about the motherboard, but the processor is completely separate from that. You're looking somewhere if you were talking a Pentium 2 system, about 17 watts. Today's dual core, 100 watts. So there's a big difference, and it's a big gap, and it gets bigger and bigger. And, and of course, we're, we're working on new devices to make things greener. Like, for instance, if you, uh, if you got an SSD or a solid-state drive, one without moving parts, you know, a hard drive's 25 watts. A solid-state drive is going to probably knock that at least in half. So... It's all about what you have inside your computer. Read the numbers in the computer, add it up, and you said that's basically what you've got to get for a, for a item here. Power supply. <laughs> I can't think of it. <laughs> power supply. So, two factors in finding a good power supply. First of all, the dimensions. Make the dimensions because it's right here that's a, that's the most important. These little screw holes. Now. Technically, I could take a case, I could measure out the screw holes, and I could re-drill holes, depending on the case, the size of the case and everything like that. But the important thing is if this plug is sticking out and where this fan is. Um, so you don't want the fan right next, to a, right, right next to a wall or a device just blowing heat on it. So measure out the size of the power supply, because when you take it to the store, that's what you're going to need. You know, And you can only read from the box the dimensions of those power supplies. Second of all, how many devices are you going to hook up? Now, the one thing, there's, there's different factors. Like I said, you have to be concerned about things like the, uh, like the USB ports. Now, today, you could have two USB devices on, but tomorrow, that could be ten. Now, there's two factors in, involved in that. First of all, you have your USB devices that go straight into the computer. Now, they're going to take wattage out of your computer. Now, if you have something like a USB device that is self-powered, what it will do is that self-powered USB device will then pick up the slack on the other USB devices. So if you have four things in a powered USB device, then you should be able, that, that should take care of those four devices, and then that one USB cable will be taken care of by the PC itself. So two main factors size of your power supply, well three main factors, size of your power supply, if it should fit in your computer and if it's a standard ATX case most power supplies will just fit right in there without a problem. Um, you got how many plugs You got, and you gotta watch out for these two plugs right here because these are the power plugs and how many device plugs you can have in them. Now there are some power supplies that have detachable plugs so it's just it's just a basic part in here. You just unplug and plug in, and you can plug in different types of cords. And of course, what you have inside your computer: DVD, ROM, hard drive, video card, memory, uh, sound card. That's all going to go into play in your wattage. Add up the wattage, and you know what your system wattage is. And that's how you figure out the wattage. And then you can run it in your computer. And you might find that your computer goes just a little bit better simply because of the fact of a better power supply. 
and that's it.